In this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple projects and how to work with timelines. But before we start, my name is Rico Richardson. I upload weekly videos on DaVinci and Darktable. So if that's something that you're into, please consider subscribing. Now let's go. Right, and here we have DaVinci. As you can see, we don't have a timeline just yet. And I'm going to show you two ways how to create one. The first way is to just grab your clip and drag it on the timeline. And then you'll see that a timeline will be automatically created. So that's one way to create a timeline. Let me undo that by hitting Ctrl Z. The second way to do this is to use your right mouse button and then create new timeline using selected clips. And if you click that, it will ask you to give this timeline a name. I'm just going to leave this as is. And I'm going to click on create. And that will place the clip inside the timeline and create a timeline. Now, if you want to know what the settings of the timeline are, all you got to do is press the gear icon. And then this menu will pop up and it will show you in this case that it's a 90, 20 by 1080 in 25 frames per second. So that's two ways how you can create a timeline. Now let's say you want to switch between projects like I can do here right now. In order for you to do that, what you need to do is click on this house symbol and that will take you to your project files. And I've put two files over here or two projects over here. But if you click the right mouse button, you need to make sure that this is checked. So dynamic project switching. And that way, right now we're in the multiple projects and timelines but if i double click on how to add camera shake in davinci which is a different video i've uploaded if you haven't seen it i'll link it up there and i hope you liked it as well you see that now we have a clip and the great thing about this is let's say i want to use this clip so just to show you this was me explaining to you how to create camera shake but let's say i want to use this clip so i've got it highlighted and if you hit ctrl c and then i move up here and I change back to the project that I'm actually working on. So the multiple projects and timelines in DaVinci Resolve. It will take me there. And now let's place the marker over here and hit Control V. And you see that the clip is being pasted inside this timeline. And that way I can use a clip which I've used in a different project. Which is a very awesome feature in DaVinci Resolve. It makes it very easy to switch between projects. Just make sure that you've got dynamic project switching checked on. Now there's one more thing I want to show you, which is if we create a multicam sequence, so I'm going to create, or I'm going to select both clips, I'm going to hit the right mouse button and I'm going to select create new multicam clip using selected clips. That will give me a few options. I'm going to name this V1 as I've done in a different video which of course I will link up here as well. So after you're finished checking out this video, please check out that video because that will explain all there is to know about multicam sequences. And I'm going to make sure that the angle sync is set to sound and it's probably on in once you're trying this out, but it's on sound because I've already done this before. I'm going to hit create and then it's going to analyze the content and it's creating a multicam sequence. Now, if I'm going to delete this from the timeline and I'm going to drag this on the timeline, we see that we've got one clip over here and one audio track. And if I close the inspector tab, I will see two screens. The first thing you need to do is click here and then make sure that multicam is selected. If I place the marker somewhere around here, you will see that two screens are being popped up. So if I click this window right now, the angle two, there will be a cut and it will cut to angle two because right now it's on angle one. But let's say you want to edit these clips individually. And there's a very easy way to do that. If you select a clip and you use the right mouse button, you can select open in timeline. And that will allow you to edit the footage or edit the clips individually rather than together. And if you want to go back to the timeline, you can either double click this one to bring you back to timeline one, or you can just double click down here on timeline one and we're in timeline one again. And like I said, let's say I want to create a timeline from here. So create new timeline. I'm going to call this timeline number two. I'm going to keep that as is. So right now we're in timeline number two, which we can see over here. And if I 
click on this, you will see that we've got one window. And we can change the timeline one by using this arrow key. So right now we're in timeline number one, but we can also just double click the timeline that we want to use. So we're going back to timeline number two and we're back on timeline number two. And that's basically all there is to know for you how to use multiple projects and how to create multiple timelines and how to edit videos from a multicam sequence individually. I hope you like it. If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!